Yep, already already got one. Why not? It makes sense to play already R1 after two. That's not from, from the I started this like three weeks ago, so it's not from the very beginning. I'm like three hours in. Work mode engaged. Sounds good. Holy shit, Emily got here early. Good morning, Emily. It's about to be 5 a.m. here. Let me sleep again. Let me get the sun to come up. Sun up? I think so. What time is it? My friend, <laughs> Amy. Yo, fifth. Now all you gotta do is say hello. Yeah. A Red Dead Resident Evil crossover game. There is no need for it. I mean, that's basically Undead Nightmare. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. He fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, 
I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston! I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the war horse, by the way. Let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. I bought her for a buck on the Xbox store. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affair. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy yeah. at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Doubleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Yo, then Robert. they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. Now was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. <clears throat> now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both born yeah. different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far Which as I can tell. Fifteen hundred and seventy-seven dollars. I played a lot offline yesterday. Not like story missions, but I was doing side missions and stuff. That's a lot of money for this early in the game. And also, I have my honor maxed out. To be ruled, Marston. No, Even you must really understand that. It's easy to make up rules. Not but my kind ain't of much game. use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Boys will be getting last poke in our day. Wow. <laughs> Was getting the last poke in. I hope that yeah. was water in. I ain't had my turn. You piece of shit. You think you're a man, do you? Come on. Come on, boys. Over the bridge. Albert. 
Four logos make me logo. Wesker, love the channel. Keep it up, man. Karen of all people. Karen. Sorry. Be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. All right, Karen. Keep he your paid eyes for open. it. Thank you, Fist of the Five. I appreciate it. Plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Thank you, Besides, Fist. Norm here is going to be my shield. Here's your time out, Karen. It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play wow. with. I hear those rancher girls like it. <laughs> Like in the butt. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. That's all good, Tara. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my good god! Ain't your life worth living? Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? Oh. Oh shit. Hey, where are you? You boys don't frighten me much. Let her go, Rip. Uh oh. Exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. I'm not to kill everyone. I decided to cut her down. I only play RE4 when there's like a new, really good mod out. It's gotta be a really good mod, because I don't like RE4. Yo, stop fucking running. Seth. That was nice. Right there. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stint. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. 
Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure doesn't... Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen all the leaks. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Are we walking over? What'd you call me? Are you gonna shoot somebody? Yeah, that was good. That was close. This would be a fair fight if you could shoot straight. You gotta get in that house. The treasure's in there somewhere. I had it with you bastards. I got you so clean. I got nothing left. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Never with me. Well, you should go this way. Treasure. You best shoot me now, or this is over. Uh. Down the stairs. Let's check the back. Basement. Here we go. Here. Come on, Seth. After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it You're very welcome. much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready.
Good to get any fame? I need fame. Yeah, 150. My honor's already maxed. I just need fame. Yo. Alright, so what do we got? Got West Dickens. It's probably another race. I hate races. Then there is Irish. Good Irish. Horses in this game, they run out of stamina so much faster than they do in RDR2. Let's go. It's all, it's all good, AI. It happens. Get away from me! Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I want to buy you a drink. I want to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. Uh. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. It's Sean and RDR2 sounded just like Conor McGregor. Not a fella to give up easily, are you? Right, Andrew? See ya. I love me faithless flora, the lily of the wet. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot yeah, it like, at somebody, for a game, I suppose, eight years old. or sell it. They held up pretty damn well. It still looks good. Life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. 
You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow right, nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always whitey bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of Fox one mouth. Doxy. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Well, there is kind of a remaster. Here we are. Like, Let's you stop here a moment to get a lawyer. this on Xbox One. X. It like upscales it, and it looks really good. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Intruders! <laughs> Yeah, because uh, Xbox One X, One X is Xbox 360 back compatible. It looks really freaking good on Xbox One X.
There's a Gatling gun. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Yeah, that would've been kind of fun. It's like a roller coaster. She is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down the line. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to old west dickens just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way you did it nice So we got West Dickens and another Irish. It's probably a Thieves Landing. Probably Thieves Landing. Go to West Dickens. It's weird. At these landing, it's always like dark, rainy, a lot of time. Ah, you uh, you're lying. Who do you think you are? stuff.
it's like selling hill. I didn't realize how much money um, hunting could get you in this game. When I was, I was playing this a lot off stream, I was hunting a lot, and man, the, the stores actually give you a pretty decent amount of money for uh, animal parts. Just hunt and bring them all back to the store and just kept doing it. Got a lot of money pretty quick. Swindler changes spots. Hey, gamer girl. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, Artize. you need me to do yep. you a favor? Ha, 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 you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless. Yeah, I, I played RDR2 you, twice, beat it twice. Before I so act now I'm playing this. It's been a while. Allow me to act this is really good too. And sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> Mingle with the crowd. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Yeah, this is the pain? one from 2010. Well, I represent the that only company Marston. that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, well, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Oh, shit. St. Homer Bonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Luke, Homer Bonus, the patron saint of business homes. I'd say he's giving you his just desserts. Ow, poppycock. Those ingrates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pants. <laughs> They yes, set a in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robbing banks felt more honest than this. Oh. Good shot. Yes, you got him. Don't worry. 
worry about. Sure is lucky you came along, you did. Lucky for who? I'll show him respect science! Respect science. Well, it looks like global expansion of your West Dickens elixir might have come a crop. Nonsense. Just another bump on the science rocky road. I bet Bruce Pasteur didn't have to deal with this shit. Ignorant hillbillies. I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. Look, they've got the road blocked up ahead. Where? Looks clear. Let's push on Toy Vaseca. For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep that gun at the ready, my dear boy. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science. You must have a real bad death wish! How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing no. again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Yep, next month is 2019. Oh, well, let's do it. We're already here. Fuck it, why not? Let's do the stupid race. Mr. West Dickens! Hurry, up, see ya. Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. Uh, you, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. 
I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. Oh, I'm riding on. Okay. Let's go. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize <laughs> that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. We haven't gone that far. Partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I'm so bad at racing. Like, there's a way to do it correctly Let's so go. that your horse doesn't run out of stamina. I, I never do it correctly. Go! It's all about maintaining your stamina. Gentlemen, it's so this bad will at be it. a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go! Just like maintain, and like once I get to the end, I can do that final push and just destroy them.
stamina up. Hold the lead, but don't push it. Nice, nice, nice. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Five bucks. <laughs> Two hundred fame. Nice. All right. So all there is left is Irish, other than side missions, obviously. So I guess I'll go to the camp, roof can site. Yo, Kurt. With improved hand sight, you can fast travel. So does fast travel to McFarland's ranch, I guess. Bam. Is Steve's landing? I think it's that mission where me and Irish gotta go get that dude who stutters really badly. landing. Ooh. I can 
buy a house here. Hundred bucks. Sleep one more time. Damn it, John. there on shaky's ground up sister put them this piece of shit irish what are you doing robin Who the nuns hell are you? give me that i'm your old friend amnesia oh god blimey but i've come to tell you if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again i'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies now get down there Marston, uh, how are you? Ashamed. Uh, Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Uh, ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? I'll have to politely decline this time, ma'am. Huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't seem to see a man walking out. Oh, word. Drunk as I am. What are you coming or not? Fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Dude, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Where are we going, Irish? 
just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. Yeah? I'm telling you, Johnny Ray, boy, you it's all up, set up. Around. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobbletongue fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Hey, Laura. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch <laughs> the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Hey, Citra. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. See anybody? <gasps> yeah, it's like a cowboy game. Hey, you hear that? Where did he come from? I got you. I got you. I thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Yes, it's too late to talk about this. Heal, heal. Winchester appears on the next short, short, short work of them. Come on! There's on the two! Now! Nobody puts their hands on sh 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 shake! <laughs> Oh, 
ammunition. Oh, it's shaky. This way. Oh my god. Look out! Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. I hope you got money for a funeral. That about killed me. Shit, Shit nail. nail. No, you don't. Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty fucking snake. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Oh my, <laughs> oh, my virgin ears. All right, hop on. I'll get this out That's of here. That's great. Are you coming or not? Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn <laughs> machine so gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Oh shit. like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that fella out the bridge. Jesus, we really run with a few feathers back there. Seems like half New Austin wants me dead. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for part, Mercer. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're going to be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. to Marshall. All right, that's the Fort Merce. Is plain view be the closest place? Let's go. 
Calm down. I'll see what I can do. Which direction we go? Plain view. I need to go to plain view. I take a nap if I you. I can feel 40 wings coming on. I'm not calling for you. I'm calling for the horse. On top of this hill. Oh, come on. This is going to be a battle right here. Take on a whole fort. John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself King inside. Seth. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. <clears throat> When the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles <laughs> back here. Thank God. 
I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Time to shoot. What the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> you best start running! Come on! Oh, Take prairie down, chicken! Marston. I've been up since like 11 p.m. Fucking dang pig! Them cock sucking song bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. What is this? Assholes at. Oh, really? That was. Oh, that one nearly gave me a haircut. Yeah, get up here. Of course, there's more. It's a whole fort. Where the 
some. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in! Didn't you just leave? That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What the Get the hell? goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. This should change proceedings a little. The music. Healing items. What the fuck? I just want to use my my rifle. I hate this freaking gun. Uh, on. Do I have to be on this thing? I do. Focus sitting up. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? 
Oh. Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. Well, John has his eye on this game. A sweet piece but it's, a, it's a special outfit that gives John's... Justice. Like, John has been a shooting car when in he's wearing pocket. this. It's been a his his, his eye's fine. He's just wearing a you patch too, for no Mr. reason. West Dickens. Marshall? All right, boys. That's enough. Yeah, John's dead eye uh, recharges twice as fast to wear this. Mexico. Yeah, we are. Irish is down there. I'll be playing uh, a bunch of Resident Evil later today. Felt like getting some Red Dead in in the morning stream. find a maybe <laughs> if I come across a high rock I did it once so far in the game it was weird uh, I, I lived I was fine it, it killed the horse though the horse died I was good DJ Mac. Balk, hello. <laughs> Man, I wish Balk could play Red Dead too, but he's not gonna. Yeah, um, Box said that this is this game is one of his favorite games of all time. He said he loved this game. 
But he doesn't think he doesn't think he'll ever get around to playing the second one. Dead Online, I haven't played it. Uh, I, I see a lot of people complaining about it being very expensive to play it. Like, if you want to, like, buy shit. Like, everything costs real money. <laughs> and, it's and it's not cheap. A lot of microtransactions and whatnot. I've seen a lot of complaints about that. Let's go to Mexico. Looks like people left here in a hurry. Shall be together in paradise. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way? Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time, and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have you ever done your wrong? Yes. No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know, me. Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world. You're right now trusting like him? I mean, revered and given he's not a bad guy, but he is Have definitely fun. out for himself. Same to you, sir. But when you force Same him to help to you, <laughs> he goes along with it. All right. Nice of you to turn up. Be a once, lot Irish. of dudes to kill. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted <laughs> with you. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Look out, bandits! Two videos, cut the rope! Bloody Nara! Do you want to die? I give up now, Harry! I should be a veteran. There's a bounty or two out for my head. Of course. I can't see anybody. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Did he, did he say fuck all your daughters? Oh, 
Look at that motherfucker fly. friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Now, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. <laughs> what, that pulque? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! More behind it, they drop! We gotta be almost there. I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already so, trying no, to kill me. Whenever it, feel, whenever it feels right, I'll play. It just doesn't feel right. Oh, damn. It's the same door as 631. Okay, I need to heal. You want to fight me, man? For you are a comedian, Biddy. You are a comedian. You should change your Instagram to like a comedy account. Hey, look at that fucking guy. You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. So much for you. I told you that you'll be in Mexico. 
just started streaming. I, I did I did a few tw uh, 24 hour streams. Like 24 hours straight of Resident Evil. I haven't done one of those in two years though. Please tell me there was like a checkpoint. Okay, there was. Page, Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. Hey, we made it. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two. Sakes alive! Come on, we're all friends here. Friends! <laughs> These horses look, look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of grab course, his dick. of course. Let me take. Grabbing horse sticks. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes. Yes, he I just did that. Think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, Saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. He was, uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. <laughs> So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> yeah. Almost to the next level of fame. Pretty close. Oh, this track, I forgot about this one. As soon as you get to uh, Mexico, this track plays. Step in front of a runaway train. Alright, Albert, see ya. Just to feel alive again. Hey, this song is a banger. Side. It's 
Started such a good game with the series. And like, it's even better to play it after RDR2 because it tied up so many loose ends. zombie version of this. Yeah, this isn't on PS4. Unless you have PS Now. If you get the PS Now subscription service, you can play on PS4. But it's just, it's renting. Like 20 bucks a month, you can rent a bunch of games. I don't like renting, I like owning. mission. The first one. Guessing. Yeah, it is. Hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla inglés? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. All right, Betty. Hablo mucho Doing inglés. Well. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Indeed. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? Uh, I haven't I seen Dutch yet. You, you don't see Dutch country? till later. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Once you leave Mexico, <laughs> you mean I then no you go harm? off to Dutch. This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on... Such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries? I feel, excuse me? Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. 
Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> Got him. No chance. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate <laughs> farmer <laughs> crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. He's, wonderful. he's some, like, notorious gunslinger who's retired, basically. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only Good one point. left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. <laughs> and you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson. I feel that. Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. What are you waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> it could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that yeah, back could, could, straight. I would Otherwise love makes to see jump. someone make a Red Dead movie. See if this skull feels like a do it, so. do it good. Not just some like piece of shit Resident Evil type of movie. Like an actual really good adaptation of Red Dead in, in movie form. Oh, yeah. What, what am I doing? Oh. I don't know what's going on. I just blanked. Stay with it. You can do this. Make sure you hit every bottle. I hate this controller stick. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little hey, more challenging. Oh, I'm good. Playing some Red Dead. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service. There actually is an Eastwood costume. Here we'll do. 
Now I'm gonna scare up some birds. That you can Let's unlock. See if you can take down more than one at a time. Like the exact same costume. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do, sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Aye, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior <laughs> before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Come on! My lord! So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on yeah, his the, friends. Uh, the there must be a high bounty on their heads. What uh, would you do if somebody took the people you love and everything. told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on! Que buscas, pendejo! Un tiro! Pues toma! No much to cover! Oh, that's right. I had to save him. Oops. I gotta go. I, gotta, I have to go into Dead Eye and just wreck them all. Come on, these what people need. What a shitty me. checkpoint. Yeah. Easy. Are you all right? Just a bit of pain in the knees. Damned horse. It's a terrible thing, you know, getting old. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, and you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like it's supposed to. See, the problem with old age is, just when you start to understand life, you're too long. There they are. Follow me. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Buy me one too. Please and thank you. Let's go. 
Is everything closed? Everything's probably closed. Ooh, somebody just turned the AC on. I feel that feels really good. Man. Santa, another Landon. Uh, Landon's there. Might as well. Unless it's closed. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a house. Reload. Mexican Poncho entry completed. So, change outfit. That's about as close as you, as you get to uh, Clint in this game. Switch over to it. What does this town have? Medicine? A general store? Got guns? Hey amigo, you wanna make some money? No, I do. Bienvenido. Hello, sir. Buenos precios, señor. Muy bien. I don't know how you get away with these prices, mister. Hasta la próxima. Andale, ¿cómo está usted? Howdy, Howdy bueno, parece que usted sabe lo que busca. Bandito scrap, what is that? What? Why? I mean, I'll, I'll understand, but yeah, I'll buy it. Emocionante. Un placer hacer negocios contigo. How is that going to help me? ¿Qué tal? Venden carne fresca de alta calidad en el matadero. Thanks. That's good. Que tenga usted un día fantástico. I'm curious. The bandito scrap? ¿Qué gusta usted? Tequila? Viuda verde? Oh, did I buy an outfit? Oh, is that what it was? Okay. I get it. Right, let's go to Landon. Poor lady. No, thank you, my dear. Landon Ricketts rides again. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, Senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? Big American. American. Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, Grandi Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. 
I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Uh, I'll take the train. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. All right, Albert. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. There should be some horses for us across the way. Come on, first stop, El Matadero. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told you could help us. Uh, we'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to talk to you. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts. Not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader Reyes. And New Mexico. She's a New pretty Mexico young thing. That's normally reason enough for a little like this too. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Oh, there. Hey! All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. 
The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. I think I know what this mission is. Yep, it is. sus botas muy bonitas mi hermana tiene las mismas pinche campesino de mierda te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos váyanse al infierno traidores well i say okay. we've waited long enough very distracting they immediately knew we were coming There'll be more on the way. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Yo, Basha. Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Stop joking around! Get out of How did you live? You taught me well. Could have done that without you. Come on. Looks like 
Carlos left us some horses. I don't want that horse. I, I paid a dollar for this horse. In the Xbox Marketplace. <laughs> I'm using my horse. before any more of them show up. Spaghetti? Type random and says spaghetti. How the hell are those? Let's go! Here comes more! They're not even close to each other. This is the war horse. It's like overall the best horse in the game. You're making a big mistake, friend. I gotta wait for him. Oh, and the cool thing is, since I bought it, I have this deed forever, so if this horse dies, I can just... I, I always have a new deed for a horse. I can, I can just keep spawning war horses. Yeah! Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Escuela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Oh my god, all those wolves.
Landon's probably asleep. Yep, he is. Where's my room? Sun's up. It's not 7 a.m. yet. Oh, in 15 minutes. All right, I'll just chill here. Well, how do you do? Four minutes. I got dual this guy. Oh, please don't die. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, eh? No me toques. I fall. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Damn, dude. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshan! I'll call. I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts here. Let me see. Now, fold. Check. Fold. Look at that. A little beginner's luck. You don't seem to be having much fun, Mr. Muller. Let's up the stakes a little. I fault. That's better. I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> Lady Luck is sure kicking my ass today. A little low, don't you think?
That's me out. Looks like the table is turned. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? As soon as you draw, put him down. Uh, you should have stayed home, Yankee. Uh, I'll probably die. I think it has to say draw first. I don't think I waited. I don't think I waited long enough. I think it has to say draw on the screen. Steady now, partner. Stay calm. Nobody steals from me. ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> to you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Oh boy. No merezco esto. No, por favor. I god damn it. I'm dead. This killer. I just impulsively pulled it. Dios mío. Ayúdame, alguien. No puede ser. Fuck. Right, the, the sticks on this. Off-brand piece of shit controller are so f hard to deal with. Careful, Mars. 
and I know that girl. No merezco That's esto. Smooth. No, por favor. Oh, madre mía. God, can a man enjoy a drink in peace? Come on, smoke these bastards up. You tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Bots. This is mighty generous of you, mister. Got another land edition? Hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader? Fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! No, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. 
Both of you. All right, here we go again. I'll mount my horse. It's the only horse I'm mounting. Lisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. Thirty by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. Let's go! You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. I'm in a bad place here.
I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. That's it for landing. Can I set up? I probably can't because I haven't been there yet. Escalera or. Yeah, I'll try. Is it an option? Might be. I'm on this side. I want to go to uh, places in America. Yo, Nelly. Yo, David. There it is, buy a house. 150? I'll take it. Thank <sighs> you. 
Finding new guns. Hey, partner. Buenos dias. Oh, yeah, again. I see you know your auto. Now a shotgun. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna hold off for right now. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it, it definitely reminds you of those uh, three movies, the man with no name or whatever movies, like the the good, the bad, and the ugly. Thanks for the like, AMX. What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country. My poor little country. And you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Yeah, he does kind of look like Tony, Tell doesn't me he? Drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> And I am uh, no soldier, a killer. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. That is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. Yeah, it was looking like They're he was giving John the, uh, name giving John the eyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would some American be meat. Hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, 
I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. All right, shotgun. It's a long ride to Chaparrosa. You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. Fuck you. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting. Where's my horse? Yeah, give me my horse. Give me, give me.
So many of them. Come on, give me a good checkpoint. Follow me. What? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Yeah. I didn't get a checkpoint at all. Stay with the train, no checkpoint. I died last time. Frustrating. This again. Come on. Right ahead of the train. He went for the rebel.
Bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. That was so annoying. I was like, honestly, if I died again, I was gonna rage quit. Mentally, it was already decided. If I died again, I was gonna rage quit. have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasó a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo.
mercenary. Nice. So, this answer again. Where's he at? That's Lara. Random screaming woman. Para ejecutar a los prisioneros. Well, move along, Rico. Have fun with that. Lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of? <laughs> a friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? Then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces. Yeah, pretty much, until I find something else I want to play. <laughs> they see only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, 
Sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Baboso! <sighs> ¿Cuántas veces voy a decirte, no ponga detrás de mí? ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. ¡Vaya! No, 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 he certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most no, just, can't handle I've never power. Been a fan of... This is it to criticize power when you oh, have never names. had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man no before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. I'm men grinning and decorating games. themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to call women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry! You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on! I will race you there! Come on! You can do better than that! Come! Men are dead. The rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, this is the one where we gotta, like, burn the houses. I think. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. I just seen you, don't hide.
baboso! crying in that house over there. <laughs> Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Get the fire bottle. It is time to finish what we started. Por aquí, imbécil. ¿Por qué no me sigues? What are you waiting for? Burn it down. Isn't that beautiful? You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Right, I'm gonna do one more mission. Then I'm gonna call it. Hey, Brett. But I'll come back later. Once it gets some alcohol, <laughs> and play Resident Evil. Santa. I'll just ride there, it's not that far away.
whatever that means. Come on. Last mission. Empty promises. Oh, that's not empty promises. This is the last mission. Loading forever, holy shit. I have men waiting for us. Just outside of Scalera. Wait, what? Did like something glitched. I was supposed to see like a cutscene to like let me know what was gonna happen. Just completely skipped Let's it. Go. Hey, why is why, why don't you have a horse? Dude, this game is broken. He's running on foot. Leave your horse here. You will ride with me. The hell? This is busted. That is completely a glitch. Captain Espinosa already has men there. We must get to him before he tries anything stupid. It skipped the cutscene. And then we didn't have any horses. You just seen him running. Wake up! Because he didn't have any horse. That was that was special. Keep your eye out. I have a bad feeling about this. Rebels, hold them off! We're not far from the camp! Mierda! They're behind us! It's just me and you, partner! Let's see what mess that idiot Espinosa has made. Was he that deranged captain at Tesora Azul? Was uh, he leading this did attack? Did the horse uh, he? despawn randomly? Nice. I thought he was the same rank. He is an angry dog we let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will leave the wagon here. One block rifle? Is that when we get this? I think so. No, David. Shut your mouth off his boy! Bringo! Take that sniper rifle over there. Storm like hill.
that is all of it. Follow me. The men need help at the blockade. They have broken through! We must hold the line! For Dios! Buenos noches! Gloria, fama y Yo, yo, yo. I swear this is glitching. Where'd that fireball even come from? John, good advice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Por Dios! Yes, we ain't gonna be friends now. 
Sea mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Kill like you, uh, he says, fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Go get drunk, go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> Walk live? Yes, he is. What's he playing? Oh, gang hideout. Go. Can you jump over that? Are you serious? Come on. Let's go. All right, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I'll be back later with some Resident Evil of some type later on today. Probably like... Probably like 8 to 12 hours from now. It's, it's going to be a while. But I'll be back later today with Resident Evil. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and sub if you haven't. GG.